All right, let's break down isothermal and adiabatic processes. An isothermal process is a thermodynamic process in which the temperature of a system remains constant. To maintain constant temperature, heat must be exchanged with the surroundings. For an ideal gas, it follows Boyle's law, PV is equal to constant, where P is pressure and V is volume. On the other hand, an adiabatic process is a thermodynamic process in which no heat is transferred into or out of the system. The system is completely insulated from its surroundings. For an ideal gas, it follows the relation PV gamma is equal to constant, where gamma is the adiabatic index, a ratio of specific heats. Now, let's look at the differences between isothermal and adiabatic processes. In an isothermal process, the temperature remains constant, while in an adiabatic process, the temperature changes. Isothermal processes involve heat exchange with the surroundings, whereas adiabatic processes have no heat transfer. Typically, isothermal processes are slow, while adiabatic processes can be rapid. The ideal gas relation for isothermal processes is PV is equal to constant, and for adiabatic processes, it is PV gamma is equal to constant. For examples and applications of isothermal processes, we have the melting of ice at 0 degrees Celsius, where heat is absorbed but the temperature remains constant. Another example is the boiling of water at 100 degrees Celsius, where heat is added but the temperature remains constant. Additionally, the very slow compression or expansion of a gas in a cylinder with highly conductive walls is an example. Applications of isothermal processes include refrigeration cycles during certain phases of the cycle, chemical reactions that need to be carried out at a constant temperature, and heat engines where a constant temperature heat source is used. In contrast, examples of adiabatic processes include the rapid compression of air in a bicycle pump, where the pump gets hot, and the expansion of gases in an internal combustion engine during the power stroke. The formation of clouds through the adiabatic expansion of rising air and sound wave propagation through air are also examples. Applications of adiabatic processes include internal combustion engines, air conditioning and refrigeration systems during compression and expansion, diesel engine combustion, and sound wave propagation, as well as cloud formation.